I'm a Cree man from Pugatawagan First Nation, and I'm an Indigenous campaigner with 350.org. The scale of response to the global climate crisis as far as how that translates into economic stimulus, you know, for our economy, you know, the work that we need to do to green our rooftops, to do solar and wind installations, to retrofit Canada's crumbling infrastructure to be zero energy footprint. This is going to take post-World War II era investments. And that alone will generate hundreds of thousands of jobs for uh, Canadians and First Nations alike. Climate change is kind of like the Richter scale, where one is bad, but two is a thousand times worse than one, and three is 10,000 times worse than one, and so on and so on. You know, we're on a compounding scale here in terms of the trajectory of where global warming is going. That in itself, you know, can be related as well to the apathy that we see amongst Canadians in terms of dealing with just how incredibly huge this global climate crisis really is. This year, you know, over 300,000 people in the global south will die from violent, unpredicted climate weather related events. These are tough conversations to have, but we need to have them and we need to problem solve around them. And collectively, we've got the power to solve not just the problems we face here in Canada, but to contribute meaningfully um, to the global solution of climate change. Climate change is the civil rights issue of our generation right now. It unites every facet of society. Our failure to act on this issue in a very holistic, uh, in a much wider and deeper way is us committing a passive act of violence against future generations. Under the big top of our movement, you know, not everybody under that big top um, experiences it in the same way as the dominant class in Canada. That's where I think, you know, white Canadians, uh, people from privilege, um, you know, this is the moment where they gotta test it. What's beautiful about this moment in time is that we're seeing the emergence of complex narratives as we dive deep into understanding the root causes of climate change, that the issues are much more complex, that they're issues of economic justice. The March for Jobs, Justice and Climate is that, you know, we want to talk about the kind of economy that we want to see. We have a distributed national day of action across the country uh, to really, you know, send off a, a signal flare to industry, to the federal government, to the right wing interests in this country that would continue to expand the tar sands that from coast to coast, um, you know, we're united as, as a climate movement. One thing's for certain is that if we have a movement that embraces civil disobedience, that embraces organizing strategies, expanding our political base of resistance, we have incredible power.